Hi guys, it's Silka. I'm from the Squamish Arts Council and I did some tie-dye recently and I wanted to show you how to do it at home because it's super fun since we're all stuck inside. So I'm going to show you two methods. One is with rubber bands or you can use string where you're kind of bunching it in a ball. The other one is scrunching where you're laying it flat and you're scrunching it. Um, these are two examples. So this one was with rubber bands. So this is kind of what you'll get. This is with the laying and the scrunching. And the other thing I want to point out here are the differences in color. These use the exact same color, but this one isn't 100% cotton. This is 100% cotton. So if you do want more vibrant colors, I highly recommend using 100% cotton um, or natural fiber. I don't know what else, I guess linen. Yeah, something like that. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna want to do and what you need is soda ash and all of this stuff you can get at Opus and you can either do a contactless pickup in North Van or you can order it online and it's not that much shipping. Um, so you're gonna use soda ash. You're gonna take either a bowl or I'm just using a Tupperware and put eight tablespoons of this into it. Then you'll take boiling water and you're gonna fill it up uh, like half, three quarters of the way. And you wanna make sure it's dissolved. So use a whisk, use a fork, use something and really get in there. You don't wanna see any of the little granulated crystals. It has to be fully dissolved or it does not work. So once you do that, you're gonna put your piece of clothing that's cotton. Uh, mind you, this only works for cotton or organic materials. It doesn't work in polyester. So you're gonna put that in here and let it soak for a minimum of 20 minutes. I soak them usually for two to three hours, but you don't have to. Um, the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna need to mix your color. So the colors that I use, they're ja Jacquard, Jacquard, and it's Procyon MX dye. I'm probably saying that wrong, but no one cares. So I'll make sure to put the name of this below so that you can look at it. Um, these ones are just awesome because there's so many different colorways. Um, you can totally just get Rit dye, Tulip dye, any of those, but I feel like the colorways are a bit more limited. So if you're trying to go for something more vibrant or specific, go with these ones. Um, what you're gonna mix, this is, I always forget, two teaspoons for eight ounces of water. Um, and then you put it in here, you hold it, you wanna make sure it's mixed up all the way, just like you're mixing anything. And if you want it to be a little bit lighter, you can dilute it with water a little bit more and it'll come out a little bit lighter. So let's get to the actual tie dye. So that's the fun part. So what I've done is I've just laid the shirt out flat. So I'm gonna show you the scrunching method. So with this, you wanna start with just a light scrunch. Also wear gloves. If you don't wear gloves, you're gonna have crazy hands like I do and nobody wants that. So I try to start with the lighter colors. So I have like some blacks and blues, yellows, um, hot pink, orange. So I'm going to start with the hot pink. Make sure it's all shaken up. And I'm just gonna do some dots.
Um, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to scrunch it even more. And the other thing to mention is that when you're done with this, it has to stay in this scrunch so you can't move it. Like you need to leave it somewhere overnight. So make sure it's somewhere where it can stay flat. No one's going to touch it. Um, so I'm just outside and then I take this plastic cloth, cover it, and then tomorrow I'll just lift it up. So now I'm using black and these little white spots. Okay, and then I want to go around, I just like the pink, how it looks, so any other little white spot, I'm kind of just filling it in. And for mine, I don't want any white showing. The next one you will see white, um, but for this, this one I just don't want to have any white showing. I want it all to be color. And then if you see anything missing that you like, just get in there, squirt, squirt some color. Okay, so there's that one. We're going to leave it overnight and then tomorrow we'll open it and see what it looks like. Okay, so this method we're going to do the rubber band method. So. You can scrunch it however you want it. I'm just going to scrunch it in a ball. And you're just going to take rubber bands. I'm going to use three. So with this one, because there are going to be areas that won't touch the dye, it will stay white unless you go in every single little crease and start putting color in. So with this, I'm going to do, I haven't used these colors yet, so that'll be exciting. Just make sure they're all mixed up. So this is avocado. So I'm just trying to get all the little white areas. I do want there to be white on the shirt, so I'm not gonna go in too much uh, in the creases, just like tiny little sections. So that's what you're going to do and you're also going to leave this overnight and then tomorrow we will open it up and see what it looks like. Okay, so there's obviously more tie-dye here because I did a few more than yesterday. So I will put these to the side. These are the two we did yesterday. So I'm going to remove the rubber bands. This is the fun part. It's my most exciting part. Oh, that's so cool. Awesome. Okay, so now I just have to rinse this in water until the water runs clear and then wash it. And then here's this guy. Cool. And then I'll show you the other ones I did. This is for fun. So this is a t-shirt I did. Oh, I love that. That's probably my favorite. This is with the avocado, the cobalt blue, and then some black. 
and I just did a scrunch. And then this one I'm trying, it's with 10 cell fabric, which is wood fiber. Don't know how it'll work, it's a pair of pants. We'll wash that and see. And then the last one, I did a cool little folding technique and then just put black on the top. Oh yeah, cool. All right, so let's wash these and then I'll show you the results. Okay, so we washed everything in the washer on cold, dried it regular like you would anything else. This is what the rubber band turned out. As you can see, it's a little bit lighter. The colors came out lighter because it is a really, really thin material. So the thinner the material, the lighter it will be because there's not as much fabric to hold the color. Uh, this was a Bella canvas shirt that I just got from Michaels. And so it's 100% cotton, it's a thicker cotton, and you can see the colors are really vibrant. This was that scrunching method that we showed. And I wanna show you a few other, a few other, a few other examples. So here's another scrunching method where I left some white. This is with the avocado, cobalt blue, and the black. And these are awesome. Another Arts Council member, Kat, she made these and the color turned out awesome. So this is another good idea. And I tried some other methods where I just started folding and just dyeing in lines and it looks like tiger stripe, which is really awesome. And here's another one with the avocado and the black. And these are tensile, so it's a wood fiber. And these are some pants. Pretty fun, right? So what I would suggest you do is tie dye, follow the instructions, and then just start getting creative with it. And you'll start to realize like what you like, what style you like, and really just go for it. Cause what else are you gonna do? You're in your house. All right, make sure to tag everything with at Squamish Arts Council and hashtag Creative Squamish. Thanks guys.